This is the story of two big bands with a disastrous meeting. Rewind back to the 80s. Rush and Van Halen were coincidentally staying at the same hotel in Leicester, England. Two powerhouses in one hotel. It just happened to be Van Halen bassist Michael Anthony's birthday, so the band went to the bar to celebrate. It sounded like a good idea, but little did Van Halen know, Rush had rented out the bar that night. David Lee Roth shared the story in a 1981 interview with Cream Magazine. Roth recounted how this night led to Van Halen being banned from Rush shows. We just finished playing, great show, everybody's very up, and it was Michael Anthony's bassist birthday. Once Van Halen learned that the bar was covered by Rush, Roth mentioned the bandmates were all in. Roth went on saying, quote, We'd come back to the bar and Rush was staying at the same hotel, and as it turns out later, they rented the bar with all the booze in it. And our guys didn't know that, and they came in and said, What free booze? Who? And they cleaned the place out, Roth added. The tension escalated when Eddie Van Halen and Getty Lee shared a table. Roth explained that Eddie and Getty had been drinking and that Getty was playing some Rush tapes for him. He said something to Ed, and Ed's beer spilled into the tape recorder. That was enough to tip the needle. A year later, this incident led to a clear message from Rush. Roth recounted their performance in Las Vegas, Vegas in 1981. Rush was on first, but the message was straightforward that Van Halen and nobody from Van Halen, including the road crew, was allowed into the show. Despite this friction, rumors years later suggested that Getty Lee was forming a supergroup with Alex Lifeson and Alex Van Halen. Although unconfirmed, no one denied the rumors either. This story has become a rock legend, showcasing the wild antics of what happens behind the curtain. Despite the mishap, both Rush and Van Halen enjoyed successful careers and remain rock icons. Which band do you like more? Van Halen or Rush?